Hi, I'm Angie Dubas, and today I'm going to show you Biotone's Very Beautiful Feet Protocol. We're going to pamper our clients with the luxurious scent of fresh picked raspberries and skin loving moisturizers. Our supplies and products for this therapy are a large bath towel, plastic sheath, three rubber spa bowls, and then our Very Beautiful Sugar Body Polish, the European Rose Body Mud and hydrating massage lotion with cranberry and pomegranate customizing complexes. Our table setup is just a fitted sheet, flat sheet and blanket, and a bolster for our client's comfort. If you have a towel warmer or a mechanism to heat your towels in your office, you can go ahead and get your client on the table and have your four warmed hand towels set up in your office. You could take your product and put it in the towel warmer or put it in the heating mechanism right there in your room. But if you don't have that, and you need to leave the room to go and get your product or to get your towels, you can use a cooler as a towel caddy. So what we do is we take our four warmed hand towels and go ahead and place them into the cooler. And then I'll take my berry buff and my European rose mud and I'll nestle that in there and shut that up. And then I can just take this whole thing back into my treatment room and I'm ready to go and my client's already on the table. So I'm back in the room, my client's on the table, I've got all my supplies and set those over here to the side and I need to get her set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top blanket and just pull it up a little bit above the knee and then I'm going to take the top sheet here and I'm going to kind of bunch it so that it comes right in the center of her knees and I'm going to keep the edge of this available to me. So go ahead and spread your feet apart just slightly and now lift your feet up. And so I can just spread that down and pull it up and now lift your knees up as well. There you go. And what this does is it just creates a little bunch right there at the knee so when I'm sitting at the foot of the table she's not exposed. She knows that she's covered there and that's just for my client's comfort and safety. So I'm going to go ahead and bring her legs a little wider apart and I'm going to get my large bath towel and you want this to be a pretty large bath towel because you want it to cover the whole bottom sheet. We're going to maybe go into doing a massage after this. I don't want this bottom sheet to get wet and then her be uncomfortable. So you're going to go ahead and lift your ankles up for me. And then I'm just going to grab her by the heels here and pull that. And I want this bath towel to come all the way up across the bolster and under her knees. Okay. And then my plastic sheet which I've cut to be pretty large here. It's about the same size as the bath sheet actually. And we're going to go ahead and lift your foot up again. And then I'm going to grab her heels and slide that all the way up. So between this plastic sheath and the um, bath towel, I'm going to make sure that my bottom sheet doesn't get wet at all. I'm going to just spread her legs slightly. Make sure that's secure. You comfortable? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And now we'll start our therapy. Spa always has three steps. We have a prep, a treatment, and a finish. Today our prep is going to be with the Berry Buff Body Polish, but we could also use loofah or a dry brush, whatnot, but we want to just get that top layer of skin off. So I'll go ahead and pull out my product here out of my warm towel caddy and it's warmed nicely. One of the th reasons I really like this product is because of its consistency. It doesn't separate the oil and the sugar particles stay together so you don't have to do like a lot of mixing which is really nice because typically they'll, they will separate. So I'm going to go ahead and take a small amount of that product. Oh and I can smell the raspberries. It's yummy. And I'm going to apply it kind of in an even layer and we're not really doing massage here. We're coming in and we're going to do three layers of exfoliation. So I'm going to start with small circular motions and you can just let your leg relax. There you go. Clients will do that. They'll lift their leg up or they'll tighten up. So you just make sure they're nice and relaxed. And then we're going to do our three circles. The first set of circles, little circular motions, is going to be relatively gentle. And then I'm going to increase my pressure a little bit with the second round. And I'm going to make sure I get the heel really well and the sides of the feet right there and the tops of the toes. And then the third cycle is just a little bit deeper even. And I'm going to take this about maybe three inches above her ankle. Right? And the heel again. 
right? And then I'm gonna take one of my warm, moist towels, I'm gonna kind of test it for temperature, make sure it's not too hot. And I wanna take this and wrap it around her leg. So go ahead and do me a favor, lift your foot up here. I'm gonna bring it about halfway up her leg and then foot down and I'm bringing it over her toes and then wrap it around the leg. And then we can take our plastic wrap and wrap it around that. That'll help keep the heat in a little bit and keep it warmer longer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other foot. Just a little bit of product up the leg and then three passes. First one gentle. Second one a little deeper. And then third one even deeper. And I'm not worried about any of the sugar that's falling on the plastic because when I apply the mud, the mud is gonna collect all of the sugar and it's gonna get swept away all at the same time. Okay, go ahead and lift your leg for me. And then down, wrap, and wrap. And then we'll immediately just come back over to this side. And as I remove the towel, I'm gonna do little pushes with it to collect the sugar. And it's gonna push that back into the towel. So I'm kind of wiping it off and sort of dusting it at the same time. The cool thing about the Berry Buff Body Polish as well is that it is going to come off super easily because it is a dry room product. It is designed for you to not have to have a shower or that type of thing. So you could use this on the entire body, not just the feet, and wipe it off very easily with warm towels without ever having to have your client get up off the table and go take a shower or anything. Okay. I've got a little laundry basket underneath my table there so that I can put all my linens in it easily. Wipe that off. Make sure you get in between the toes. You could even use a little spray bottle and spray and have it just kind of run off into the towel. There we go. How's that feel? Amazing, awesome, okay. And now we're ready for our European rose mud. So I'm gonna reach down into my, reach down into my caddy there and I'm gonna get a little bit of the rose mud, and just a little bit. And I'm same thing, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna apply that about three, four inches above the ankle. When you apply muds, you want to apply them so that they, you get a good covering, but it doesn't need to be too thick. So you can see the skin through the product. It's just enough for treatment. So with rose mud, it's moisturizing and it's got this French rose mud in it that just makes the skin become very supple and soft. So that's our treatment. If we were using a black Baltic mud, our intention would be more to detoxify. So you want to pick products that match the theme of your treatment. In this particular case, the theme of our treatment is luxurious and moisturizing. So we're using products that help us attain those goals. All right. I'm gonna get that all the way around the foot, all the way under the ankle, and then I'm gonna come over and wrap her in the plastic. You could add to this by taking a warmed towel and laying it over. So bring your legs together and we're gonna lay this over. Now this towel is not incredibly damp, so it's not gonna run or drip onto my under um, towel. So just enough to warm it. And then I'm gonna cover her with this. And then I have a towel in my lap that I'm gonna to use to clean off my hand so that I don't get any mud or product on my um, blanket here. 
and then I'm going to pull the blanket down and cover that. Now that's going to stay on for about five minutes and while that's on I could do a neck and scalp massage, I could do hand massage, I could do some rocking and compressions, right? So we'll do a little bit of that, give this five minutes to set, and then we'll come back and we'll take it off. So while the European Rose Mud is treating her feet, I've gotten a little bit of hydrating massage lotion with the cranberry and pomegranate, and I'm just gonna do a little neck and shoulder massage. That'll help pass the time. I don't want to get too deep because I'm going quickly and I've only got about five minutes. So I'm mostly going to just focus on getting underneath her scalp a little bit, coming down the arms, and making her feel nice. And then we'll bring that around into a face massage. And then I might come in as well and rub her, give her a little hand massage, arm massage, and then we'll loop back down and take the mud off of the feet and give her a lower leg massage as well. So now that five minutes has passed, we're gonna come back and uncover. Go ahead and pull this towel off, which is still warm. And then when we pull the plastic off, because we had that little bit of warming effect and because this is a dry room product, the European rose mud is just gonna literally come off with the plastic. I'm gonna kind of peel the plastic back. And as I pull the plastic, I'm gonna roll it into itself so that I contain the mud and then by doing that I'm also picking the mud up with the plastic and I'm going to just roll this to the outside of her leg here and then I'm going to take a new warmed towel check it for temperature this one's got a little bit of extra water in it so I'm going to squeeze the extra water out you don't want your towels to be drippy or runny so when you hold them up, no water should drip from them, right? And I'm gonna lay that across the top of her leg, lift her foot up like so, wrap that around, and then I'm gonna hold that, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this plastic in so that the mud is covered and then I can rest her leg back down. This is gonna protect the bottom sheet and keep it from getting wet. And I'm just gonna wipe the mud off and it's gonna come off super, super easy. In between the toes. And then I'm gonna bring this plastic the rest of the way in and bring her leg down on top of that dry towel. This towel now comes around and wraps that leg so it doesn't get cold. And then we'll remove from the other leg. Same thing, roll the plastic out to the outside, get our towel, make sure it's not dripping or too hot, lay it across the leg, lift the foot up off the plastic. We're just gonna go ahead and pull that plastic out. Go ahead and let your foot relax. I've got it. There you go. In between the toes. Okay. You can kind of look and see if you need any touch up, but that product wipes off so easily. You don't usually, it's just all gone. Wrap with the towel, and then we'll just do some little compressions here. Dry her off. I don't need these anymore. And so now we're gonna lift her leg up and pull this towel out. And you can see because of the way that we set it up, there is not one spot of moisture on this bottom sheet. It's completely dry. And now we'll go into our lower leg massage. To recap, we've done the first two steps of spa. First step being prep. We used our Berry Buff Sugar Body Polish for that to exfoliate, slough off the dry dead skin on the top layer and prepare for the second step, which is treatment. We used our European Rose Mud for that 
and then we wrapped it in plastic, put a hot towel on, wrapped that in the bath towel so that those moisturizing effects of the mud could take place. We've removed that, dried off her legs, and now we've got her set just on the regular table set up, and we're gonna do our finish. And the finish is gonna be a five minute treatment on each leg massage, and we're gonna use our hydrating massage lotion with cranberry and pomegranate customizing complex for that. The whole treatment is very luxurious and lovely. So we're gonna take our, our lotion and we're gonna apply up to the knee, around the back of the leg, and then you really can use any techniques that you know make sense for you. You just wanna make sure you're complete. So make sure you get the bottom of the feet, the arch of the foot, attention into the heel, work around the ankle, and then up the leg. And you can lift the leg to get underneath into the calf as well. And you're just gonna do five minutes per leg. And you may come in and work both legs simultaneously some, apply your lotion to each side, or you may just do one at a time. All right, so five minutes per leg. And once you've completed that, you're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna grab the open edge of my, of my sheet that I have available to me here, and she's gonna go ahead and lift her legs for me, and I just pull that to the center, legs down, and voila, she's covered back up. Go ahead and pull my blanket down here. By leaving that open edge there, that can accordion down really easily. So you can do this as a standalone treatment where you just do the lower leg, it'll be about half an hour, or you can integrate an additional half an hour of massage and then you can do the back and the arms and whatnot and bring it all together as a full body treatment. Thank you for joining us for Biotone's Very Beautiful Foot Protocol. In this protocol we used three rubber spa bowls, four hot moist hand towels, a sheet of plastic wrap, and a large bath towel. The Biotone products that we used for this protocol were a half ounce of Berry Buff Sugar Body Polish, one ounce of European Rose Mud, and a half ounce of Cranberry and Pomegranate Hydrating Massage Lotion. If you'd like to see other videos and spa protocols, visit Biotone.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, and click on the video or spa menu idea links.